Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a sending love card for you today. This is from the Spring 2024 Stampin' Up! Mini Catalog. It truly is one of my favorites in the um, whole catalog. It's got this adorable stamped mailbox as well as dies that you can use to make the mailbox. But I thought I would challenge myself to make a card without the mailbox. Something a little simpler and fun and just super, super cute. So this is what I've come up with and um, you could use this for any occasion really. Um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make these really, really adorable envelopes. Okay, so let's get started. I have actually cut the envelopes out already from basic black and real red. Let me show you the die. This die right here is what you've cut out um, for your envelope and you're going to fold these in on the sides and you'll see one side has um, the tip that's cut off. That's the side you wanna fold up like that, all right? And then I'm gonna very carefully get my liquid glue very carefully and i'm just going to put a little bit of liquid glue there on the edges like that and i'm going to fold it up and i've got clothes pens little mini clothes pens that i'm going to hold that down and let it dry okay now for our black envelope we're going to do the same thing except this time we're going to actually close it all the way so i'm going to take liquid glue and actually put it here and here and we'll fold that in and see if I can get it Woo! there we go fold that over like that all right so there's that cute little elegant black envelope again let me grab one of my clothes pens to hold it closed while it's drying for the little letter that's on the uh, popping out of our red envelope I am going to stamp that with this little circle image that says sent with love and we'll color one of the hearts flirty flamingo this is flirty flamingo dark stamp and blend okay and then real red light Okay. And I thought that if there was ever a card that needed some shimmer, it would be a Valentine card. So let's add some Wink of Stella. Now, again, I say Valentine's card because it's Valentine colors. It's that time of the year, but it doesn't necessarily have to be Valentine's Day. We're going to layer those onto this new label from the Thoughtful Expressions dies. I love these. This is the third largest but we'll hold off on that for a second while we give those envelopes some time to dry. I'm gonna use a real red card base. I'm gonna take that small little real, uh, small little heart and add some real red hearts to my real red card base. And I'm just kind of, kind of, I, I'm not too worried about them being evenly spread out. It's just kind of in the background and down along well, up along the top quarter of the card, really. Now, here's some of that celebration paper. It's called uh, Most Adorned. One side has uh, got gold foil on it. It's gorgeous. But honestly, I love the other side even more. It's got plaids and um, hearts and uh, big hearts, little hearts in pinks and reds, which is so fun. You're going to cut this piece four by three and a half. There will be a PDF over on my blog with the measurements and the supply list. If you are looking for ideas, there will, there will be um, two other projects there as well using the most adorned um, DSP and the Sending Love bundle. All right, now this piece is from our uh, Zoo Crew Designer Series paper. It's from our annual catalog. On the inside, I wanted to add just a little something. So I'm gonna take the envelope and I'm gonna stamp it once and twice down here in the corner of my four by five and a fourth inch basic white. And I'm gonna stamp it, the heart, right in the middle, once in real red. Then we'll clean it off and stamp it again in Flirty Flamingo. 
All right, I think we're ready to put our card together. We can put the inside. If you wanted to add a different sentiment to this, maybe uh, thank you, thinking of you, happy Valentine's Day, you could do it maybe right here next to those or up here. All right, so I've got my label. We're gonna need dimensionals. We'll add this on here with two dimensionals like that. Let's get these and see. I hope they are stuck together good now. And we'll add dimensionals to the backs of these. Like there's one like that. And then we've got the other. like that All right now i have cut two gold foil hearts there is a little heart die here in the sending love die set and there's actually two of them so you can cut more hearts at once if you're going to use a lot of hearts it really helps when you have more of the same die all right there we've got that one I'm using my take your pick tool to pick that up with a putty in it just makes it that much easier and then let's take this in and just kind of wiggle it until we get it to where we want it. And then we'll add our little letter coming out from the inside with a dimensional. I'm gonna stick it down in there like that, like kind of leaning over. Now sticking with a the gold theme, I have uh, my Elegant Trim Gold Cord. And I'm gonna tie a bow. And if I can find my scissors right here, we'll do a mini glue dot. And let's stick that right there like that. And then because, you know, everything just needs a little more gold, let's add a few gold dots. And these are the um, well, now I'm drawing a blank. These are the blooming pearls. These actually carried over from our holiday catalog. So just add some, some gold little dots. Oops. And there you have it. A pretty easy card, I think, but really, really adorable. Now remember, this most adorned designer series paper is only available through the end of February, 2024. Um, and it's also while supplies last, so it could run out before then. So if you love it as much as I do, make sure you grab it. It's free with a $50 purchase. And the Sending Love Bundle would go great with it. If you decide to uh, buy the Sending Love Bundle and maybe that gold elegant trim, you will be at 50 and you can add that paper on for free. All right, click the link here on YouTube. Hop back over to my blog, get that free PDF, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.